Um, so Nick, you're going to do your review for 80 for Brady. Um, what do you have to say about this movie? So 80 for Brady is a film that is loosely based on a true story about four lifelong friends played by Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, Rita Moreno, and Sally Field, who travel to watch Tom Brady and the New England Patriots play in the Super Bowl in 2017. And looking at the trailers for this film, this kind of looked like just a gender bent version of something like Last Vegas, that movie where it was like Robert De Niro and I can't even fucking remember who because I just kind of just trauma blocked that movie from my memory because it was so terrible. But here the screenplay is written by two very good people. It's written by uh, Emily Halpern and uh, Sarah Haskins, who are both the screenwriters for Booksmart. Mm hmm. Okay. Which is something I didn't know walking into the film. And something that is in in the hands of any other cast, this film would have been exactly what I'm talking about. A, just a gender-bent, kind of fluff piece, nothing film, where the entire joke is, hey, isn't it funny how horny these old ladies are? Huh? Huh? But... These all this entire cast, all of them give so much more depth to any of their characters. We see the little interactions with uh, all of these friends and even the story of how they come together because they say that in the film. It's so sweet. It's just very kind of heartwarming. And even a joke that is in the trailer, like uh, Sally Field calling a fanny pack a strap on. It's a very dumb joke, but her character is just so so wholesome that she somehow makes it work. Mm. And probably the MVP of this movie is Rita Moreno, who is so funny in every single scene she's in. She's probably the better uh, comic relief. And this tenderness between uh, all of the all of the friends, like uh, especially Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. It's so sweet and something that I'm pleasantly surprised by. Now, do you have to go to, am I saying you need to rush out to a theater and see this? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. The movie, it's fine. That is the biggest compliment I can give it. It's not going to blow you away cinematography-wise or in any other sense of the word. But it is very fun fluff, which is much more entertaining than I was expecting and would ever give any credit for. But at the end of the day, it is just kind of fluff. And for that reason alone, I would say this is a very, very low stream. In. Mm, okay. You know, when I was looking at the trailer for this movie, um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of that movie, um, with all, which also had Jane Fonda in it. I think it was called Book Club, I think it was called. <laughs> um, and that had another group of like older women in it as well. Oh, yeah. Um, cause it was yeah, her, uh, Diane Keaton. Yeah. Uh, Diane Keaton was in it. Um, what's her name? The one that's married to Ted Danson. Uh, Mary Steenburgen oh, was uh, in it. Uh, yeah, and, uh, Candace Bergen. Yeah. So it kind of like, I guess, you know, it seems like that's kind of a thing. I forgot there was another movie that did this too, of like a, getting a group of older actresses together and do kind of all-star type thing and, and bring them kind of together. And book club was I think we did review that. I think it's up on the the, mm -hmm. the channel, the YouTube.com. I think if you go to Afternoon Tune and you type in the book club, I think we did. I think I did review mm -hmm. that one, um, which was which was decent. Um, and it seems like so that's yeah. kind of the same case here. It's just you know eighty for Brady. It, it, it is kind of that same case, but the film doesn't rely on just. Ain't, isn't it funny that these old women are horny? Mm. Which I think is would have fall this movie would have fallen apart and been kind of grating if that were the case. And the only reason that this film works at all is this uh is the strength of our four main leads. Mm. And how's uh everyone else because I see you do got like you know football players in here. I see you got Rob Gronkowski seems like he shows up in here. Mm -hmm. Um how's some of them in it? They are yeah, all of the football players in here, they are more or less there just to be thirsted over. And scenes that are much funnier than I would have ever thought. But there's a scene where uh, Lily Tomlin is uh, talking to Tom Brady because, you know, if you remember that game, 
it was kind of a come from behind win for the Patriots at the time. Yeah. And there was like a scene like in between where Lily Tomlin is on the radio giving the motivational talk to Tom Brady. And it is shockingly powerful. And Tom Brady actually manages to carry himself in that scene fairly well. And even the mo- his, uh, his interactions with Lily Tomlin, because there's this running joke where Tomlin whose character is a cancer survivor kind of hallucinates talking to Tom Brady and it's fucking trippy every single time it happens. Hmm. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. So stream it for 80 for Brady. Eh. Yeah. It's a movie your grandma is going to love. Hmm. Okay. Which my theater was (laughs) almost entirely grandma. I think that median age of the average participant in there was like 65 to dead. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, hey, I mean, it, it's number two at the box office. So, hey, I mean, it, it got that, you know, <laughs> hey, they came out. <laughs> These horny old ladies knocked out Avatar. <laughs> um, yeah. So, hey, shout out to that. I mean, hey, all these actresses are incredibly talented. As the trailer says, all of these actresses, all Oscar winning, every single one of them, Mm -hmm. um, all Oscar winning actresses. All Oscar winners, and I think Rita Moreno is an EGOT, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe. Yep, she is. She is an EGOT winner. EGOT! Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which just recently happened to Viola Davis, just recently. recently, Woo! Yeah, she's... Hell yeah! um all right so uh that was 80 for brady 